Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your end of June bonus reading. It will take a look at um, your life overall and how it's going. It can be applied to any part of your life. It is good for the sun, rising, moon, or Venus sign of Sagittarius. Please keep in mind always, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so it won't resonate with all of you because it's not meant for just one of you. So maybe only parts of it will. Just keep an open mind. If you'd like a reading to resonate with you 100%, Book a private reading with me. The link to my website for scheduling an appointment is in the description below. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. This is the sister channel to my other channel, Soma Chandra. On Soma Chandra, I read for all 12 zodiac signs. I do read for you there. But on this channel, I read for Libra and Sagittarius and sometimes Cancer exclusively. And we hyper focus on love on this channel. But I like to do Celtic crosses. A couple times a month for you guys because not all of you are in a romantic relationship so this could apply to any part of your life they did give advice to you guys coming out of the halloween oracle deck moving into the reading zombie came out which is about control and sometimes bringing something back to life this card came in the reverse when it came out for you night song hidden talents and dawn the light after the darkness. So zombie is an interesting energy. It can often mean we want to bring something back to life. When zombie come, comes out, the message is, should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, leaving little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not equal so that they are more easily manipulated and changed to your likely liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you're not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at what and why and how to change that. So this is about bringing something back to life possibly and being in situations in your life that are about control that leave very little room for you to be your true self. Um, it's a serious card. It wants you to ask yourself, are you being controlled? Are you being easily manipulated? Do you want something to change to your likely liking, you know, and are you allowing that to happen to you? You might be in some situations where you feel controlled. Someone wants to bring something back to life or you've tried to. They're telling you to be mindful of that because it's not allowing you to be your true self. And I know this because Night Song came out. This is about your hidden talents. It came out in the reverse and immediately I saw the magician in reverse, which is someone who isn't, some of his talents are going to waste or he doesn't have a plan. And should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you by appearing during your divination, know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within you remain unopened. The time has come to step into your true potential and claim all possibilities of yourself. There's no more time to waste. No more excuses. Wow. So I think you're going to be in some situation, Sag, at the end of June where there's some control and something wanting to come back to life. Maybe you've tried to bring something back to life or someone's done that with you. I think it might stifle you in some way. And I think that it might have brought some pain or darkness into your life because the last card out for you, this dropped out at the end. I didn't think they wanted a third card. It's the light after the darkness, the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. I love it in this deck, there is a brush fire. Brush fires are a natural occurrence in nature. Something dies and is cleared out and makes way for new growth. So if you guys have been in a situation where you feel like something's controlling you or maybe you've been controlling in the situation, you might have been trying to bring something back to life. It's There's a lot of fear surrounding the zombie energy. It's sort of putting a damper on who you are as a person and there's no more time to waste Yes, it might bring some difficult endings and you might have been in a darkness because of it. Allow your true authentic self to sing and know that the light will come. It will bring this owl. The owl is wisdom. So you will gain wisdom from this experience. There will be lightness after the dark. So don't be afraid, okay? And get away from this control. Let your who you truly, truly are sing. Be that nightingale that cardinal might have meaning for some of you at the center of it all for you at the end of June. I have been clarifying like crazy a lot. Like one card isn't enough for me. I don't think it says enough ever. I like combinations. Knight of Pentacles in reverse to Temperance. This is the bougie deck by Sal Beadora of Eat, Read, Love, you guys. You ever watch Sal on Eat, Read, Love? You should watch him. This is one of his personal decks. I love Sal. I love this deck. It's so great. This is the one they wanted me to use. So 
Knight of Pentacles in reverse to Temperance. Here you are, Sagittarius. So I think you guys have been going in circles with a situation. You feel a little bored. You feel a little stuck. Or you're not quite ready to set up a good routine yet. Don't expect perfection out of yourself. The end of the month will be about self-discipline. If you do feel bored and you do feel stuck, I think you're going to handle it okay with temperance. This is almost an aloof energy. People always say, Sag is so aloof. I can never tell what they're thinking. Like they're not aloof. They mean moderation. This is bringing things into balance where there's peace and calm and perspective, where you know what the middle way is for yourself. So I see you guys sort of trying to bring into balance a situation where you kind of feel like you're going in circles or maybe some of you are like look i've been working too hard or not working enough i can't be productive in this situation i need to be calm and find some balance you know that might be your response to the environment the challenge or the catalyst is this king of wands and he came in the reverse this is your energy sagittarius this is an aries leo sagittarius energy the challenge is do you visualize long-term success in some situations in your life? Can you take the lead? Do you have grand visions here? Are you feeling passionate and confident about something? Is all your experience um, coming into play? He did come in the reverse. So you might not feel very passionate about something. It might be more about your own personal direction right now. You might be struggling with consistency and even communication. Um, you might be pulling out of situations where you you or someone else just was aggressive or had high expectations. Sometimes the king of wands in reverse is like the player. But, you know, this is where we pull out of a situation where ourselves or someone else isn't seeing long term success and isn't feeling like they can take the lead. Um, make sure you're able to pour consistently into your life and be confident, be passionate Go towards situations where there is long-term success and you can feel consistency because I can see that that's going to be an issue for you and to some degree. And I can see why. What's driving you? The four of cups. Ugh, this is such a tough energy. This is emotional reevaluation where we kind of refuse all other offers and we focus on some regrets. There's something we're thinking about and bugging us, but we can't pick up that cup that floats in the sky next to us. We think about it, but we don't reach for it. And there are three cups in front of us, and those don't look good either. It's like, is the grass really greener on the other side? I'm in a place of emotional apathy and reevaluation. You will be emotionally contemplating something. I think it's making you feel a little stuck. I think it's because you're going in circles. You're not very passionate about it, or someone's being that way with you and you wanna find the purpose and the balance. I like that temperance is here for you. In the past, this could be recent or deep past, five of swords in reverse to the six of swords. So this could have happened with another person in your life or people in your life or something you've done on your own. The five of swords in reverse is where we're not willing to fight through change with a person um, sometimes, but it can also mean we try to reconcile with a person or with ourselves in some way and make an amends, but we hang on to some past resentment. And then you moved on to calmer waters. You made this transition, you made a change, and you released this baggage. This is good. You could have done this with or without a person, but I think it led you to a place, even if you tried this with a person or a group dynamic or something, it was like, okay, let's let bygones be bygones. Let's try to heal. Let's try to move forward. Whether you did this alone or with others or another person i think it's leaving you kind of stuck and you're really going to be temperance at the end of the month where you're like you're going to be calm and close your eyes and let the divine guide you and say i have to take the middle way i can't get all wound up about this i can't be excessive i'm not sure i see long-term success here and i don't know how consistent i can be or anybody around me is that's why you're in this emotional reevaluation phase this is normal. It happens. What your soul is telling you to do, this placement for me is, what should they be focusing on right now? This is like the advice within the spread, but they you know, did give further advice. Eight of cups to the four of pentacles in reverse. So they're saying to you, if you're disappointed and you feel like you need to walk away, then make your choice to walk away. It's okay to walk away. If, if you need to escape or withdraw a situation and not look back over your shoulder because it's just not serving you, it's okay to walk away. I also just heard sleep on it, like it's okay to sleep on it overnight and see how you feel. But your soul is kind of telling you, 
walk away from the things that are disappointing you. Watch for emotional escapism and abandonment, like intentionally. But I think your soul is telling you, just walk away from something and let it go with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Four of Pentacles is where we shed the old. We know that we're going to lose something, but we know it will make more space in our own heart chakra. The only danger with the Four of Pentacles in reverse is when it re is in regards to actual pentacles, which is about money. So if you're having any money issues or you're with a person that does, watch for overspending. Watch for somebody being greedy. It can be about financial issues. Make sure if you're having money issues, uh, make sure you're not just walking away from emotions and then opening up your pocketbook like a lunatic. <laughs> Conversely, they just gave me another career message for my entrepreneurs. Um, if you have to walk away from something that isn't serving you and you want to start a new project, you might have to take a little bit of a risk and open up your pocketbook. Just be careful planning for the future with finances. But I think your soul is telling you, walk away from something that isn't serving you and let it go because you're not visualizing long-term success here with this King of Wands in reverse. And it's leading you in circles and you are feeling the need to be calm and that's great, but... Why are we feeling all this emotional apathy? You're feeling kind of stuck in a situation. I think your soul is saying, yeah, you're going to lose something here, but walk away if it's not serving you. The actions you're going to be taking at the end of June, 10 of cups in reverse to the page of pentacles. So this is about family sometimes and um, struggling relationships, a, a little bit of a disconnection trouble in paradise. This happens when we misalign in values where we don't want the same things um, in a situation. A relationship may struggle for you. This could even have to do with family. Sometimes this is divorce, but not necessarily. Um, I see you guys being in some situations where you don't know that you see long-term divine love, a blissful relationship, harmony and alignment. Try to sit down and talk with those people if they're important to you and think about walking away from the past and letting go of things too and opening up a little bit. I do see you guys casually wanting to explore something though. The Page of Pentacles is here. Pages deliver and receive information. They explore and study. It's one of the most powerful moments in the deck when we are a page. This is a manifestation. It's a skill development. It's a financial opportunity. It can be where we do something in the 3D and we give it a go. It can be very casual. You're just exploring it, something in the 3D. Um, I think some of you are feeling like, you're not going to have a blissful, harmonious ending that you want to in June, the end of June, but you're still willing to give other things a try in your life where you slowly develop something. You know, something might casually be developed or explored in the 3D out of this. You know, just remember what they said. Let go of the control and know that it is always darkest before the dawn. I think things will be okay especially if you let your own talents come out and you sing your own song like the nightingale wants you to, that night song, bird, the cardinal. Cardinals don't sing at night. I don't understand why they put a cardinal on that card, but I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. The way you're seeing yourselves, seven of swords in reverse to the ten of wands in reverse. So I'm having two tens here, you know, somewhat of something that could end on a happy note, but also I think you're releasing burdens. You see yourself as doing it all, carrying heavy burdens, and knowing you just need to release and delegate and let go of hard work. You're trying to complete cycles in your life that have been so heavy that you've held on to and you've done it alone. You see yourselves at the end of the month letting something go. But the Seven of Swords is in reverse, which tells me you might be feeling a little guilty about something. You're going to be like, oh, did I kid myself? Did I cheat myself? Did I keep a secret from myself? Did someone keep a secret from me? It's a moment where we catch ourselves in a situation and we have a little bit of imposter syndrome where we don't feel entirely worthy in some way. And we want to make some changes out of an insecurity or a guilt. I think what you're seeing here is saying the way you see yourself at the end of June is I have to let something go that was a heavy burden because it's making me question who I really am. I can't be flexible. I can't be adaptable here. I'm catching myself in my own identity here. I feel like I'm cheating myself or I'm kidding myself. I don't like this. I want to let this go. You know, I think that's what I'm seeing happen for you here, but I do think it will make way for something better. 
I looked quite a bit at the energy around you to see what's going on with a person around you. This could be anyone in your life. I really clarified it like crazy too. Um, the person around you, this could be a friend, family member, relationship. In, your, in the relationship they have with you, they see themselves as judgment in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. Capricorn is here, Sag is here as well, but it doesn't have to be those signs. This person is, a bit, is at a bit of a crossroads and they don't absolutely know what they want. They have a very strong inner critic and they doubt themselves. They can't hear the inner calling. They can't leave the past behind. They can't walk through the door. They can't make way for their own judgment and this absolute ending where they know what they want. They just don't quite know what to do. They're not feeling that inner calling and that rebirth from within that will affect their decisions. They're just not ready to see she's stepping through the door and she's trying on a shoe. She can't find the one that fits. This person can't find the one that, that fits. Knight of Wands in reverse is how they feel about you. So waning passion, passion project, hasty, scattered energy. This person is frustrated. Their passion and their energy and their drive towards you will appear very on again, off again. They don't really know what they want. And the action towards you is the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is a person resisting change. I'm seeing three cards of resistance in some way. This person resists change. They can't handle the ups and downs. They might be playing out some karmic cycles in their life and they feel as though they can't expand in this situation entirely. I clarified it a little further about you know their feelings for you. This person is the Empress in the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, a married woman, a mother, a wife. This person is showing me that they're the Empress. So this Empress wants what she wants and she has very high standards. This person seems to think they are in control and I get a kind of a weird vibe off of it. Um, they're trying to be grounded and nurturing and practical, but with this Ace of Wands here and this Knight of Wands in reverse, I think this person's a little stubborn and I think they're looking for something new with growth potential. They might feel some passion for you, but as long as they can maintain control and stay in control of the whole kingdom, they do feel as though they've hit a stroke of bad luck. They're having a hard time passionately driving towards you or in their own life, and they're having a hard time making the right judgment call for themselves. The actions they really truly want to take towards you, two of cups to the eight of swords. This person does care about you. They feel an attraction to you. They feel a unification with you. They want to have heart to heart dynamic with you, but for, for whatever reason, they feel a little trapped in the situation that they're in. And this will be for different reasons, for different of. Uh, you know, Sag that watch this. Yes, they feel this heart to heart with you and they want to get close to you, but they feel trapped in some way. Lots of negative thoughts. This person feels like a victim in this situation. They're restricted and this is a self-imposed restriction. This person's having a hard time not feeling trapped in a situation. This two of cups energy with you seems to be karmic for them and limiting them. And they might be focusing on the wrong things at the wrong time. They really resist change and they can't deal with those ups and downs. So that's what's going on in your environment. And that could be anyone in your life. Okay. It could even be your own mother with the Empress here. Um, the way you're feeling three of swords to the three of pentacles. So quite a bit of duality in your emotions, Sagittarius for the end of June you're going to feel a little bit of heartbreak. This is some pain and sorrow, grief and hurt. Be careful of this. The three of swords can also be communicable disease and illness. Um, and with what's going on in the world, I would be careful with the three of pentacles to the three of swords. Um, be careful with your health and what you're doing, where and why. Okay. It also suggests some triangulations to a degree, but if it's not a triangulation, I see that you're hurting in a situation. Um, there's some grief that you're dealing with here and heartbreak, but at the same time, you feel the need to collaborate and work through something with a person. It's like through this heartache, you're still going to be a good team player. This could be a situation happening where you work or with someone you work around. It could also suggest a triangle of some kind, but the three of cups didn't come out. The action that you want to take towards this person in particular is the sun in reverse to the nine of cups in reverse. 
So I think you're feeling a little pessimistic at this point with the sun in reverse. Your ego might get in the way for you. Your inner child might also pull on you as well. The sun in reverse is like, what I'm getting here with the sun in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse is, look, I don't know about this. I'm operating under a false impression, I think, to a large degree. I don't have enough light shed on this subject. I'm feeling a little pessimistic at this point. And I don't know that this is wish fulfillment for me. Conversely, be careful of something a little different where you're overly optimistic and you just indulge in the situation because it makes you happy in the moment. But based on the other cards I'm seeing here, I think it's the first interpretation where you're like, you might be saying, look. I could just go for it here, but I think I'm being overly optimistic. And frankly, I think it would just be to indulge myself and this person in the moment. I think it's that you feel as though the sun is going down on something that might have felt great at one point, but at this point, you're starting to feel dissatisfied and your own inner happiness is more important to you at this point. You know, and I think you're going to handle it okay with this three of pentacles too, where you're like, okay, let's work this out and see if I can implement what I've learned in this situation. Final outcome looks like you're going to have a pretty big choice to make or someone's going to be that way with you. The star in reverse, ace of coins in reverse, two of swords. So the star has been coming out a lot for you, Sag, and for a lot of people. This is where we kind of have a hard time focusing on our dreams. The star is where we heal after big tower blowout moments in our life, where we feel happy and positive and motivated and free. It is a spiritual renewal from within and a renewal in our life where we have faith and we have hope and we can wish on that star about our dream life, our dream job, our dream relationship, you might feel a little hopeless. It's a moment of learning to trust yourself. When the star is in reverse, you're healing and you're finding purpose and you're learning how to trust yourself. You might feel a little disconnected though. And the ace of coins is here as well. I see you guys looking for with this ace of coins and the star, this is like, what's that dream thing for me? This is a seed that you just haven't planted yet. You might feel like you lost an opportunity. This could be a new opportunity to manifest into abundance. I think the only thing holding you back is that you're not letting yourself dream big and you're feeling a little disconnected. No, maybe you need to use this time to learn to trust yourself a little bit more. And when the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, you just lack a plan. You might be feeling kind of hopeless in a relationship where it's like, I can't plant this seed. I see it's a possibility here, but I don't know if I can wish on a star about this just yet. I need a little bit more of a plan and I need to trust and connect and heal myself before I can be the star for everybody else. And the Two of Swords is coming out. I think most of you, this is you, but it could be a person around you that's blocking you out. The Two of Swords is we have a difficult decision to make. We weigh our options. We're at an impasse. We appear avoidant to others or they are avoidant with us. Someone's looking for the sword of, the, of discernment, looking for the truth. Which sword is the right sword? Which sword is the truth? you have a difficult decision to make, or apparently someone has a difficult decision to make with you because they're at that judgment crossroads. I think whoever this person is, they kind of want to maintain control at all times as the empress. That's not a bad energy, but you need to know that you're working with that. I think it's you that will be kind of avoidant because you're not sure if you can plant this seed because you're not sure you're going to be the star in this situation. Take your minute, take your minute to figure it out. Their final advice from the tarot, the five of pentacles, Page of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse. They're saying, look, right now you're not really getting what you want in this situation. You might even be experiencing some financial issues. This is also a lacking mindset or worry or isolation. You might be feeling a little left out in the cold right now. Um, don't doubt your intuition. When the Page of Cups comes in reverse, it's we feel a little creatively blocked up or we're dealing with another person that doesn't want to tip their dip their toe in the water with us. Don't be afraid to study and explore new things in your life from the heart. But pages in reverse deliver no news or bad news. So I think that your guides are saying to you, look, you really feel left out in the cold. You're not getting what you need or you want in this situation. And you're feeling a little blocked up and you're doubting your intuition. The page of cups in reverse can feel like a broken dream, but it's a moment where we face our own emotional maturity and what we want and our own vulnerability. We deal with somebody else's vulnerabilities and their 
childishness and see it for what it really is and we form a new idea for ourselves they're also showing me with the three of wands in reverse sag that they're telling you for some of you stop waiting for someone to come back they're leaving you out in the cold and they're not going to apologize that's one message i'm hearing but another one is look if you're feeling like you're not getting what you need, you need to think of a new idea and rebuild this emotional dream for yourself. And don't hang on to the past. The three of wands is where we play it small. We lack foresight. There are going to be some unexpected delays. Um, address your own confidence issues. Don't hold on to the past. Um, if you feel like your wings are clipped or something is too far to distance for you, maybe turn back around and figure out what you're holding on to and what the delays are about and have foresight. Think of a plan so that you can get this three of wands into the upright and this page of cups into the upright where you can dip your toe into new creative opportunities that you feel emotionally curious about where you can hear your intuition and you see a future with those things and get this five of pentacles into the reverse where you free yourself from negative cycles that leave you impoverished or leave you left out in the cold in some way. Yeah. Okay, Sag, so that's your end of June bonus. If this resonates with you, I hope it helps you. Book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally about health, wealth, love, career, your spiritual path, and destiny. The link to my website to schedule is in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sagittarius. Take care of yourselves. I really love you guys, and I'll see you next time.